Yeah. Okay, lovely. Sorry. So my name's Rachel Raven. I manage the Thames Valley AAA screening programme. And I've been invited here today to talk to you about what we do as a screening programme. So firstly, um, what is the AAA screening programme? So AAA stands for Abdominal Aortic Aneurysm. Um, we're a screening programme, so we invite men to take part. It's not compulsory that people take part. And we are basically looking for a weakening in the aorta, in the abdomen. Um, so it's a weakening in the wall in the abdominal area and it expands like a balloon outwards um, and where it expands it weakens the wall and can burst. Typically 8 out of 10 patients that rupture don't make it to hospital in time or don't make it through surgery. So that's one of the reasons why the screening programme was brought into place. Um, generally patients don't tend to feel any pain when they've got an aneurysm and don't know that they've got an aneurysm either. Um, it's only if you have an extremely large aneurysm that you might feel some discomfort or lower back pain. So who is the screening programme for? We invite men who are in their 65th year, so they've just had their 64th birthday or older. We also invite transgender patients as well, and this is quite an important subject area for us because we tend to miss out on these patients. So if you were born male but you've had an operation and you're living as a female, you are still at risk of having an aneurysm because you were born male. You need to be registered with a GP practice because all of our results um, get sent to your GP. And we also accept self-referrals. So the screening program's fairly new. If we've missed you because we've only been going for four years and you're older than 65, then we invite people to self-refer and they can contact us directly on our telephone number and ask for an appointment with us. So just a few facts and figures. Age can cause an aneurysm, so the older you are, the higher the increased risk of you having an an developing an aneurysm. If you smoke or you have ever smoked, that also increases the risk of developing an aneurysm. High blood pressure and family history. Family history can be quite an important one. So if you've had a brother or sister or parents that have had an, an aneurysm, there is an extremely increased risk of you developing one as well. Um, so how common is it? We have about 1 in 25 men between the ages 65 and 74 will develop an abdominal aneurysm. Men are six times more likely than women to develop a AAA. And the programme specifically targets this age group as 95% of aneurysms rupture um, during this age group as well. And each year there are around 6,000 deaths from a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. So this is us, this is the Thames Valley AAA screening programme. We're commissioned by Public Health England and we're also <coughs> monitored by them. They do, um, every three years they'll do like a mini CQC inspection on us and we've got ours coming this October. Um, we started in January 2012, so we're fairly new. We were part of the fourth phase of the implementation of this screening programme nationally. And for those of you that don't know Thames Valley very well, we cover Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire and Berkshire and we screen out in the community. So by the end of March 2017, we will have invited a total of 44,457 men. Um, the team consists of eight screening technicians. Um, of those eight, we've got four that are currently training. It takes around six to nine months to train a screening technician from scratch. We've got two admin staff, five vascular nurses that work with us, one programme manager, that's myself, and we also have a clinical lead. So what do we do? So you will receive a letter in the post from us inviting you for an appointment. It's not compulsory that you attend, but obviously we would strongly advise that you do. It's a five to ten minute appointment with a simple ultrasound scan. Um, a lot of our patients liken it to a pregnancy scan on your tummy area. Um, it's non-intrusive and you're given the results there and then. My team will also take pictures of your aneurysm and your aorta and those are saved on our national database as well. And I know nationally they do use these for research. We're also quality assured by the vascular scientists that work here at the John Radcliffe, which makes sure that the continuous training of our team is there, that their images are of good quality as well. 
So what happens when you get a result? So a normal result um, is less than three centimetres. You don't require any further treatment or monitoring if you have a normal result, and we won't invite you back for any further scans. We also send a letter to your GP letting him know when we've seen you, where we saw you, and what your result was. In the Thames Valley programme, we have had 26,819 patients with a normal result. And there you can see an image there of what a normal aorta looks like. That one's measured at 2.05 centimetres. So if you're found with a small aneurysm, this is between 3 centimetres and 4.4. We invite you back every year for a repeat scan just to check on the measurement, to check it's not growing and there's no abnormalities. You'll be invited for a vascular nurse assessment appointment, which is a half hour appointment with one of our qualified nurses. Um, and they will discuss your, discuss your lifestyle, any medication and any questions or concerns you might have. And again, a letter goes to your GP with the result. And if you've had a vascular nurse assessment appointment as well, your GP will also be notified of that appointment and what the outcome of that discussion was. In the Thames Valley programme, we have 227 men on annual recall. And there is an image there of a, a small aneurysm at 3.06 centimetres. So medium-sized aneurysm for us is 4.4 centimetres to 5.4 centimetres. We invite patients back every three months for a repeat scan to check on that size and that width. A vascular nurse appointment is also offered as well, again, discussing lifestyle, medication, any concerns you might have. Um, and we also offer a second vascular nurse appointment if you've changed categories. So if you started off with a small aneurysm and you grow to a medium, we will offer you a second vascular nurse assessment because sometimes that obviously causes anxiety and concerns. In the Thames Valley programme, we've currently got 23 men on three, month, three monthly recall. So if you're found with a large aneurysm, this is where it measures 5.5 centimetres or larger. We refer you straight to a consultant vascular surgeon. We have to refer you within two weeks of your scan appointment. And that's, our, that's a national guideline that we have to follow. Um, a GP will be sent the results letter and also in that letter it will detail what's happening next for you. Typically one in a hundred men screened are found with a large aneurysm um, and since the programme started in January 2012 we've referred 37 men for preventative surgery and the largest aneurysm we found was 10.1 centimetres. The largest that we found nationally was 11 centimetres and that was found in the southwest. and there you can see that's an image of an 8.3 centimetre aneurysm. We have a policy in place locally whereby if we find a 7 centimetre aneurysm or larger, you will be referred there and then that day. Um, we will call the on-call registrar who will have a discussion with you over the phone as to whether you're displaying any symptoms or not and they will then make a decision whether to bring you in that day, the following day or whether they feel you can wait uh, the two weeks. So that's roughly what we're all about. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, thank you for your time.